Kimmy King is a political science professor at UNT in Denton, and she joins us now. Kimmy, I wanted to ask you, politically, does this bolster Trump's 2024 re-election campaign, or does it fuel other Republican candidates to try to get the party to break with him? Because in, in Waco last weekend, we did hear Trump again say that, you know, they're not coming after me, they're coming after you. It's clearly in his messaging. It's baked in. You're going to continue to see the rocky road that Republicans are addressing right now as they move forward with who's going to be their 2024 nominee. Much of it, I think, is going to come down to who the independents are and how the independents feel about this that might otherwise be inclined to go with the Republican Party candidate. You saw a Quinnipiac poll come out and Democrats and Republicans have consistently the same kind of view about what the implications of on this for whether President Trump should be the nominee, but it's really the independents and their view that if there was a charge of a crime, that it would be something that should discredit the president from running. So we'll see. Kimmy, we're obviously talking about this developing story in New York City, but there are still three other criminal investigations underway against the former president, one in Georgia, two other federal investigations. Th those are much more serious than what's happening right now. Yeah, and in many ways, people thought that those would be the investigations that would come to fruition. As you pointed out earlier, that this really could just be a misdemeanor. Now, if there are additional charges that add on to it or they find other kinds of an intent or defraud uh, element in any of the charges that had been put forward, those could rise to a felony. It's those other cases that you referred to. And you have to remember, there's also the police from January 6th who are suing Donald Trump. You have the Gene Carroll case, also uh, ongoing New York, about the sexual assault that happened way back when. So there continues to be this swirl of legal trouble for the former president. Before we let you go, I want to ask you one last question here, too. This is a tough case for the Manhattan DA to try. It's never been done before. But if the DA cannot make the case, if he cannot get a conviction, that would just further fuel Trump's reelection campaign, wouldn't it? Yes, it will. And no matter what, I mean, there is going to be the Trump campaign will be able to get political push out of this. I mean, President Trump, you already saw that in Waco. Um, what the question is going to be is what will be the fallout on those other cases that you just referred to? Because then he can sort of rightfully come out front and say, well, I swatted that one away. Now watch me go after everybody else. So it's the kind of momentum and pressure that it puts on those other cases to get those charges going. All right, Kimmy King, we appreciate the insight uh, on that UNT political science professor. Thank you very much for that. Look